I was walking around Michael's craft store and they had these food pillows for $5. This is a giant plush cookie. It's actually very, very soft. There's a hot dog, mega supersized fries, a double cheeseburger, but I am going to pretend like this is a veggie burger, and pepperoni pizza. I'm more of a pineapple pizza kind of girl, but it's pretty cute. We thought it would be fun to try to figure out how to make these for our dolls. And I learned about this really cool technique that quilters use to put photographs onto fabric so they can make photograph quilts. But we're gonna use it to make doll-sized food pillows. We are going to make a pizza and cookie pillow. I started by getting a pizza. I took pictures of it along with this cookie to make this printable. For this project, we will also need some thin white cotton fabric. I found this at Walmart for 97 cents. Freezer paper, I found this at Target for $3.19. An iron, so adult supervision is highly recommended. Mom, Dad, I need you for my froggy stuff craft. Pillow fluff, an inkjet printer, scissors, and a needle and thread. We are going to print this image directly onto the fabric. Say what? Yes, we are going to put fabric through the printer. This is my first attempt, so I hope it works, and I hope I don't break my printer. In other words, craft at your own risk. Before we put the fabric through the printer, we have to prepare it using freezer paper. Cut a large piece that is a little larger than computer paper. The freezer paper has a shiny side and a flat side. The shiny side is coated with a layer of wax, and that is the side we are going to lay face down onto the fabric. Using a hot dry iron, I iron the freezer paper onto the fabric. After it has been ironed and there are no wrinkles, use a piece of computer paper as a guide, cut the fabric to the exact same size. So we have created a piece of fabric computer paper. I am going to feed this through my printer so that the printable prints directly onto the fabric. Before you do this, it's important to understand how your printer works because you wanna make sure that it prints onto the fabric side and not the freezer paper side. And if you're unsure, you can take a piece of paper, make a mark in the corner, then print a test page to see which side should be facing up. For me, I have to place it into the paper feeder with the fabric side facing up. And let's hope this works. Yay, it worked! I put it through my printer using all of my normal settings. I didn't change the paper type because it is a very thin cotton fabric. A few things that I learned for next time is that you should make sure your edges are super straight and super clean. You don't want any fraying because that can get caught in the printer. I had a lot of fraying in this corner and it got a little smudged. But for the most part, all of the area that I need looks great. I'm going to give it a few minutes to dry to make sure that the ink is set. And for this project, I think it is best that it avoids water. Printer ink and water are usually not friends. I peel off the freezer paper, carefully cut out the images, stack them good side to good side, take needle and thread, begin sewing a straight stitch all the way around the edge. I try to keep my stitches fairly short and close together. I can see through the fabric a little, so I make sure that my line is on the inside of the cookie print so that when we flip it, we see only the cookie. I don't really want a white edge going all the way around my cookie. I stop about an inch from where I started so that I can turn it inside out, add pillow fluff, fold over the sides of the opening and pinch them together, so it closed. When I get to the end, I tie the thread into a knot, push the pin through the pillow coming out through the center, and trim off the excess to make a doll-sized cookie pillow. Wow, could this day get any better? Let's try to make the pizza. Yes, yes it can! Just as before, we stack them good side to good side, 
Starting on one of the flat sides, I sew around the edge, flip it inside out, add the pillow fluff, pinch the opening closed, and sew it up. The reason I started on the flat side is because I find it easier to close than on a curve. I had to take a little more time with the cookie. We added a few more pillow options to the printables and used a solid color on the back. It's like the pillow can read my mind. I would have liked for the colors to be a little more saturated, so I adjusted the printable and remade it. It's a little more golden brown now. These could also make really cute keychains. I'm going to use the picture at the top of the printable, cut out two and a piece of felt, lay the printables good side to good side, place the felt on top, sew around the edge, flip it inside out, and sew it closed. Sew a top stitch around the edge of the crust. This is going to make it pop out to make a pizza for the dolls to eat. And we could do the same thing with our slices to make a slice of pizza for the 18 inch dolls. It's the perfect size. On a piece of cardstock, I drew a two and a half inch square, left a space of about a third of an inch, then drew another two and a half inch square, draw a third of an inch border going all the way around, cut it out, fold on the lines so that it looks like this. Make a small cut on the side at the corner, right here, 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 and here. Repeat on the other side, fold and glue the tabs to the sides, making a tray. Glue together the ends on the other side to make a pizza box. Use stickers to spell out pizza. Add a little tissue paper to make a pizza box for our printable fabric pizza. And you're done. Happy crafting! We want to give a shout out to MM313. What's up? Yum. Pizza and my froggy stuff. Best day ever! Hey, Sophie. Hey, Mom. What you got there? I saw this at the store and I thought you might like it. I love it! It's like all of my favorite things! I'm glad you like it. I'm going to get started on dinner. I wonder if I can find some more. Time for a little shopping online. Aww. An I Love Pizza pillow. Add to cart. A pillow shaped like pizza? I'll take two of those. <gasps> Cookies. Yes, <laughs> we gotta have those too. Yes, is this custom fabrics? Can you make a bedspread that looks like a giant pizza? Sophie, dinner. Wait, what's going on in here? Oh, hey mom, glad you're here. How much is too much for a custom-made pizza bed with pepperoni pillows? Sophie! Oh, I know what you're gonna say. Lose the pepperonis, go with pineapples instead. There's so many ways to escape, but I guess it's time to 